Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for those who are new here, I am Psychic Bella Love. If you wanted to book your own personal private reading with me, all my information is in the description box below and use coupon code BELLA20 to get 20% off your first reading with me. Also follow over on Station Head because every Saturday Psychic Carlene and I go live at 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 6 p.m. Eastern so that we can answer the questions and the topics and all of that kind of stuff that we cannot talk about over here on these YouTube streets. And make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And we are going to be looking at Gabby Union and Dwayne Wade. I will always like to say his name wrong. <laughs> I always want to say his name wrong. I always want to call him Dwayne Wayne for some reason weird reason <laughs> so you guys had a lot of questions about them you know like is weird stuff gonna come out about them are they actually like in love what's gonna go on next with them so we are gonna take a little look and see so start with join us and answer any questions that we have in regards to Gabby Union Dwayne Wayne and marriage we're asking only with the intention and purpose of clarity and and not with any bad intention. Thank you, Spirit, for joining us. Answering any questions that we have about these two. Thank you. Please speak with Dr. Paul when we ask about this reading as well as all who participate very much. Thank you, Spirit. So Spirit, please tell me what do we need to know? Is this a good marriage? What is your little overview of their relationship? Thank you, Spirit. happy as he lets on no well neither one of them are let's be honest but he's definitely not as happy as maybe he shows online at times um some of that also has to do with like does he not play anymore because I feel like there has like been a change in his life you know and because we have this five of cups or the four of cups I mean and the knight of swords the hermit The Six of Swords, he comes up as the King of Swords. And then there's the Chariot and the Death card. So, did he have to, like, leave behind or, like, he retired or something? I don't watch basketball, you guys. I only know who, like, half of these basketball players are because it's, like, they're dating Khloe Kardashian or married to Gabrielle Union or something like that. That's how I know them because they're always on social media being talked about, not because I'm, like, that's my favorite player on the Spurs. Like, I have no idea who plays for the Spurs. I don't even know if that's a basketball team. It could be a hockey team for all I know. But it is, it actually brought him, like, a lot. Like, even though maybe he was acting like, yeah, I'm so happy that we're done. Yay, woo. You know, in reality, it actually, like, hit him harder than he expected. He's going through a journey of trying to figure things out for himself right now. He's literally trying to figure out, like, what are my next steps? What do I want to do going forward? Do I want to stay married? Do I want to be single? Do I want to, like, go start a whole new life somewhere else? You know, like, what do I want to do? Like, he's really in a lot of, like, a deep thought right now and trying to plan, like, the next chapter of his life, basically, is the way that Spirit is um, presenting it. So, that was interesting. and just came up about him. But the underlying energy here for this whole situation is the moon card, the palace of coins, and the knight of coins. Literally, like, I'm trying to figure out my next career move. Alrighty. So, Spirit, how does Gabby Union see her marriage to Dwayne Wade? Feels 
like she runs the roost. <laughs> Spirit, how does Gabby Union feel about her marriage to Dwayne Wade? Thank you. Do you guys like her? I know, like, there's a lot of people that I kind of have mixed feelings about her. Like, some people are like, oh, I love her. And then I see other people, like, online saying they don't trust her. She seems like she's, like you know, controlling or mean or something like that. So, just still wondering. She wants another baby. She actually feels like he's probably going to leave her. <laughs> she does, but she wants another baby out of it first. With the Empress and the Four of Wands, it's like, let's just have another baby at least. Because she feels like I had to wait so long to get one. So if she's not already, like, if they don't already have a surrogate that's pregnant, they're going to get a, um, like, they will have a surrogate who's pregnant. Because I know she can't carry her own. Um, but she's definitely focused on trying to get another kid in before it's too late, basically. But with this... King of Swords, King of Wands, Three of Wands, Seven of Swords, and the Wheel card. There's been other people involved in their relationship in the past, and she doesn't trust that he hasn't exactly stopped doing that. Because it's like, you kind of do sneaky shit, you know, her seeing that. But she does feel like if their relationship broke up, he's leaving. And it's like, Sort of always having in the back of her head to be prepared for it. That's kind of weird. Um, two of coins, six of wands, and the devil card. It is. I made a choice that was a short-lived victory. And that has come back to kind of bite me in the butt. So, it's like, I fought so hard to get this man. And I've done so much to try to keep him in one spot. Or to create, you know, some happiness or some life that I thought that we were going to have together. But it hasn't worked out exactly the way that I originally thought. Surprising because they did seem happy in his birthday pics. But then again, we saw plenty of times that Will and Jada were trying to act like they were happy. And the whole time she was getting her guts rearranged by August Alcine. So, <laughs> you never know. All right. Spirit, how does Dwayne Wade feel about Gabby Union and their marriage? Thank you, Spirit. I mean, I asked for the overview, and it was just talking about how his focus is more on the next stage of his life. So, I just want to see, like, if they're going to say anything different. Sometimes that's what happens. He knows that he's going to break her heart. But he's waiting for the right moment to do this. Hangman and Temperance card. It's like really like on top of the whole soul searching of what am I going to do with the rest of my life financially. You know, like do I want to go be an ESPN, ESPN commentator or do I want to just go own a bunch of high rises or do I just want to go retire on an island, you know? That's also including, do I take my marriage with me? Is my wife coming with me on this next journey? He's already been thinking about leaving. It does bother him, though, that he's in this situation of wanting to walk away from his marriage. He feels very guilty. And you guys, this is what's crazy. Three of Swords, Page of Cups, Wheel card as the underlying energy. This is obviously talking about him having that break baby or cheating baby or whatever they're calling it. He does feel like a lot of this, like, unhappiness that he's in is karma for him. Like, I keep feeling like that is a huge topic on his head lately. Karma. 
What have I done that's gonna come back to bite me in the ass? What kind of karma do I have coming to me? How do I fix it? How do I get out of it? Do I just sit here and like take it? Like that really weighs on him. Not just for her, but he's messed over other women in the past. And he does feel like that is going to come bite me in the ass someday. But then at other times, he kind of feels like maybe she's his karma. So, King of Swords, Devil card, Seven of Cups. He lies to her a lot just to get her off his ass. <laughs> It's like, oh, you know, like she's like literally like one of those wives that like nags. Did you take this garbage out? Did you take the garbage out? Did you take the garbage out? Did you take the garbage out? And it's like, yes, I did. I'm trying to take, yes, I took the garbage out, you know? And it's like, did you know you're going to go take it out after you're out of the bathroom? But, you know, it's just like, woman, get off my ass. <laughs> We're going to hear about him cheating, you guys. It is going to come out. So this is talking about King of Wands, Three of Wands. Yes, he is going around, still doing the same kind of stuff. Not surprised though, because we have the Magician card and the Six of Cups. Um, Six of Swords, Five of Cups, and Seven of Swords. This is the crazy thing. I feel like she would still want to work it out with him, and he would be like, no, I don't. He's going to use his excuse to leave. But we will be hearing about this. We will find out. It will be brought to light. But because of the way that this feels, it kind of almost feels like somebody who forces it. You know, like sometimes like we see or we've experienced or whatever, or we've done it ourselves because I know I have, where you don't want to be with somebody anymore. So you just all of a sudden become like the worst boyfriend, girlfriend ever. Hoping that they'll break up with you. And then it's like, oh, whew, I got out of that one. I didn't have to be the bad guy. You know, you just decided you didn't want to be with me anymore. I'm free. Like that kind of thing. Where you purposely F something up. You sabotage it on purpose because you don't know any other way to get yourself out of it. Whether that's I don't want to be the bad guy or I just feel trapped. That's what this feels like here. Because right after him leaving is the Six of Wands. Like, yes, I'm free, I'm free, I'm free, I'm good. Jeez. Alrighty. So, let's just see what else Spirit has to say about... If there's any other messages about their relationship. Yeah. And they're saying that if she, I just feel like there's already like a baby in works or they're about to have another, like they're about to like go start the process again. So it, this might come out either while the surrogate is pregnant and we know that they're going to have a baby or they might just pop up and be like, surprise, here's a baby. But it's something around the timing of four months, like the baby being four months old, of them having to deal with all of this stuff. Or four months before the baby is born. I don't know why I keep hearing four months and a baby coming. Or maybe the baby's coming in four months. But it is around the baby coming that we will hear about him cheating, is what Spirit is saying. All right. Is there anything else we need to know about these two? Thank you, Spirit. I expect that we'll hear stuff about her, too. Somebody is going to bring up things about her, like, from the past. Um, see, again, the Empress with this Three of Swords. It's like, as soon as the baby's coming, as soon as the baby's about to be here, the cheating, the cheating's going on. Um... Knight of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, Wheel of Fortune, the Moon card. There is something about the way that she treated other people in the past that is going to come up. 
it's gonna be brought up it's gonna be like okay well you know how you want to talk about how you were on that show and everybody was so horrible to you and so you had to sue them well what about the fact that you were doing this 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 and this to me when we were on a show together did you forget about that it's like I don't feel like it's any like T.I. and Tiny kind of stuff that we're going to hear about. Yes, he's cheating, but she's going to just be accused of being a B. And so she is going to have to kind of defend herself, but also expect that she's probably going to do some like Super Soul Sunday Oprah type of interview where it's going to be like, I was in my past because I was an insecure girl who was always getting pushed over and blah, blah, blah. And I felt like I had to exert my dominance on sets because... I couldn't let people take advantage of me anymore, so I made mistakes, but I grew from it. Like, we'll get something where she's just gonna kind of like be able to kind of play it off. Don't be surprised if maybe one of the girls he cheats on her with or one of the girls that he's with after her gets pregnant too. Because I keep feeling like that's going to be a really big slap in the face to Gab, too. Like, oh, you just get out here and just impregnate everybody but not me. You know? Like, it's not exactly, like, something that she's going to be thrilled about. Um, yeah, because we have the Magician, the Hangman, the King of Wands, and the Ten of Cups. They work very hard to present this very happy family picture that we see on social media. He plays along, but with this Justice Hermit, Knight of Wands, Five of Swords, Five of Cups, and Page of Pentacles, it is, I'm ready to move on and move forwards because too much is like, it's like he's focusing on the things that don't make him happy instead of focusing on what does make him happy. But he's trying to figure out what does make me happy so I can go towards that. It's like he's really trying to step into back into being the king of pentacles. That I know myself. I know who I am. I know what makes me happy and what doesn't. He's lost that. So even though it's like we see him doing the same things and he's smiling online and everything. Inside it's a completely like he just feels kind of empty and like I don't know what I'm doing is what spirit says. But again... Then he just turned 50 or something. I mean, sounds like a midlife crisis. <laughs> so, let's see. Spirit, any last messages before we go? Thank you. Yeah, see, it's like seven of pentacles, five of swords, two of swords. We don't see this coming, but they do. And then Six of Swords, King of Swords, he's the one leaving. But it is because Ace of Pentacles, Nine of Swords, the truth comes out. So it's kind of like, okay, well, that's my out, guys. <laughs> you found out I like to like do it with everybody else. See you later. Bye. It's almost kind of like that. So that's kind of sad. I love the little shady baby, though. Like, I'm just like, oh my God, that kid is going to kick you in the face someday. Like, I'm always, 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 always waiting for her to like, like in some video or picture, I don't know why. It's like, I just expect that that kid's going to flip out and punch her in the face and then or kick her in the teeth or do something at some point. But I love her too. Like, she's just, that kid is everything. I'm like, oh my God. I can't wait to see like when she's like four or five like and her personality is really developed and we get to hear her talk like is she gonna run around being hella mean or does she just really have the baby version of what is it called rbf resting bitch face i don't know but i mean shady baby fits her perfectly <laughs> she's like adorable little girl so anyways, guys, I love you all so very much. Thank you so much. If you made it to the end, let me know what are your opinions on both of them if you did. Also, I will see you guys on Station Head on Saturday. And if you wanted to book your own personal private reading, all my information is in the description box below. Bye, guys.